few months ago. The result is a substantially more equitable and less harmful budget than we started with. For D.C. residents experiencing homelessness, we went from zero new housing vouchers funded to 619 housing vouchers, including 168 for individuals experiencing chronic homelessness and 456 for families like those exiting rapid rehousing. We also increased funding for street outreach for homeless residents by about $1.5 million from the mayor's proposal and found funding for furniture for those settling into new homes. For people facing eviction and housing instability, while ERAP is still going to see significant reductions, we increased the mayor's proposed budget by $6.7 million, which will keep many people in their homes. We also increased funding from the mayor's proposal for homelessness prevention and enhanced funding for domestic violence survivors, since domestic violence is a leading cause of homelessness. The council's budget also includes funding to support residents on Talbert Street while they transition to new homes. On the housing side, we funded more housing for returning citizens coming out of incarceration. We included new funds for housing counseling services. And for those looking to buy a home, we added $2 million to HPAP and $1 million specifically for 911 call takers and first responders. To create and preserve housing, this budget adds $20 million more to the Housing Production Trust Fund and about $4.5 million to the Housing Preservation Fund. We also increased funding for public housing repair and maintenance, both in the operating and capital budgets. 